Hi everybody, friends of the channel, The Cathodic. I'm very proud to make this review uh, in which I would like to to make this video and this review in an English language for worldwide uh, public and audience because this is a stunning 32 inches, such a beast, such a monster. Leve set. Exactly, it's an Articos, 32 inches, look at this amazing set. This is a brand new unit, uh, which I found uh, on a reseller years ago. Uh, this reseller just exposed for like two or three months on the shop to show this amazing beast and then re-put on the, on the, on the box. So actually it is a probably unique unit in the world, such a clean one. As you can see, everything is absolutely brand new. It's such a really a beast and a great TV. In here you can see there is this because I, of course I open it uh, just to, to watch the interior of the TV because Watching the internal part of the TV is always a joy for me, especially if it's a brand new one. In this photo, you can see how amazing is the brand new inside of this monster, which has a beautiful S Philips black diamond uh, tube. Such a beautiful tube. Okay, in here you can see the rear part. Such a incredibly clean, and uh, of course it's completely new. So, exactly what would you expect? Okay, this is the the rear part where you can put this away or you can leave it here. And here are the connection. In this review, I will test it basically with the VGA input. Here we have the VGA input with the audio in um, for the VGA, then the, the audio, audio parts, and we have three SCARTs in here. Two are RGB and one is composite. Look at, look at this amazing and absolutely clean Chassis, it's a 25H chassis, that means high chassis, which is the, the best and the highest chassis Love made for these TVs. We do have in here the speakers, such a beautiful speaker with a subwoofer integrated in it. The, the sound is absolutely crazy amazing. And here, if you push, you have this for the S, for the cards, you know, for the satellite system, uh, for the for going here to the service menu, etc. Headphone, S video, and another input, and the big stuff here is the main power. We have here the amazing. Booklet, instructions, schematics, uh, uh, remote control and everything. Um, it was shipped and packaging with this package into the main box of uh, that big TV, which I will not show you because it's uh, just a big box, but uh, on the top there is this, if you, when you open <coughs> the, when you open the big packaging in the big box, you will find this. This is completely untouched. Look at this amazing and beautiful packaging. This is something which I still don't know what it is, but it's okay. And here we have the articles, the model, and for the identity card and for, you know, for the like, like the warranty and everything. And here, down here, 
we've got all the instruction booklet in Italian in every kind of language plus the service manual all right everything is completely untouched which is absolutely stunning to me as a collector as an enthusiast collector which will remain like that here you have the remote control which i will not show you because i would like to be untouched but it's such a gorgeous one okay with the display big display for those years was really something here we have the pan microfiber to clean for the dust the main screen the main anti-glare screen because this tv has an anti-glare on the on the front you will see the big screen will that which uh, protect the the main tube and that glass is like polarized anti-contrast and anti-glare and anti whatever you want and uh, you can you can of course um, unmount you can disassemble that to clean everything and to clean also for the dust on the on the back of, of the tv and Lebe provided this amazing pan to clean together with the bottle of like nettoyant parabrise screen cleaner whatever okay uh, which is still untouched and will remain of course untouched in here and here you have also the the, the batteries these are of course the the original one the expired date it's 2009 this is a set of 2003 2004 2005 more or less so th those were those years as you can see the packaging of everything is it's really is really premium you can feel it's really premium nowadays it doesn't exist anymore all right guys first thing first i will uh, test uh, this beast with uh, always the same more or less uh, kind of stuff uh, i added the ps4 i will i will test also with the ps4 in 480p with like probably Doom or something like that, which is I I already tell you is completely astounding to my to my sight and to my opinion. Anyway, first thing first, I will test with the Wii uh, in via component component uh, HD uh, through uh, VGA with a transcoder, of course, uh, to show you how beautiful is geometry and convergence and, and everything which is believe me astounding as always uh, then you have to to think that this is a brand new uh, model and brand new unit so everything is you know at maximum power uh, after that i will try also with some um, 576p uh, progressive signal uh, of uh, television a common television here in, it in italy uh, and and even with that the you know the results are absolutely crazy and amazing even with the shit uh, you know decoder and the shit signal uh, like that uh, plus uh, i will test with the pc with i think uh, half-life 2 in 848 uh, per 480p uh, so you can see also how the PC works with this kind of uh, TVs and uh, at the end PS, uh, PS4 so first of all just turn it on all right we're still in VGA mode uh, I would like to show you First of all, the amount of power of system data. You can see here, you can see here, this, uh, uh, this unit has 247 hours of usage. So it's, it's basically brand new. Uh, it just finished the breaking point. Uh, you have to test for 100 and 150 hours to, you know, 
make stable and stabilize the, you, the tube and all the electronics after the 100, uh, more or less 100, 150 um, hours of usage, you can be sure that the TV is working properly. Okay, and uh, flyback and all the deflection stuff um, and uh, the tube and everything is working flawlessly, okay? Uh, so this is absolutely brand new and uh, believe me, the quality of the image is astounding. One of the incredible stuff that uh, really amazed me of this, uh, of this set, uh, well, especially the articles, is the top top notch of uh, of the Löwe, so everything is at really maximum level, is the um, geometry, but especially the convergence. The convergence is crazy, crazy, crazy in all part of the screen. Uh, articles use the, the, you know, the, the chosen tube of the chosen one, so they just uh, chose the best tube. Uh, in order to put uh, them on on the articles, so uh, among all the rest of the Leve set that I own and I saw in my life, I can assure that the articles has absolutely the best convergence and geometry uh, in the market. Uh, and of course the, the, the image quality is, is astounding uh, because of that but the for me the convergence is very 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 important especially because on this large screen you will see distortion and very bad stuff if the convergence is not uh, is not uh, good you will it will affect the focus it will affect uh, really the quality of the image and uh, Leve is second really to none in the market worldwide Okay, some tests, some patterns, just for the more nerd of us. Uh, okay, here we are in 480p, scaled in 240p. It's a Wii, okay, uh, connected uh, via component, uh, from component uh, from the Wii to the transcoder, and the transcoder from, from the transcoder VGA to VGA to the, to the um, TV. The imaging stunning, uh, it's just uh, some test, but uh, everything is such crisp uh, and uh, and amazing. So uh, here is the grid. Uh, this is the most impressive to me uh, thing uh, for the TV. Look at those geometry, left and right uh, is, uh, I didn't touch anything, okay? Uh, there is the menu for the geometry, if you wish to, you know, uh, amplitude uh, is the uh, west uh, and east west and uh, uh, horizontal sides and whatever okay anyway i didn't touch anything and look at those geometry there is a little 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 slightly on the edge or on the right that goes up but it's just two millimeters uh, <coughs> for the rest the geometry is absolutely incredible Look at this north east, north east, uh, west and south uh, is perfect. Plus the convergence is absolutely incredible. Look at here. In here, at the bottom, top left, and bottom left. It's it's incredible, guys. It's really incredible, and this is what I always say that uh, Love has provides the best overall image quality uh, concerning the details, which are not details because in for thirty two inches, if the convergence is not perfect, you will see very clearly, and everything. Uh, is absolutely stable no flickering at all and remember guys here we are in uh, in 480p 60 hertz okay so it's not 100 hertz or 120 hertz it's 60 hertz and uh, everything is absolutely uh, perfect so like the linearity uh, usually you can see on the widescreen especially on the flat on the flat one you can see the square are not the same overall all over the, the the tube which is here it's like painted like 
perfectly crisp. If you don't know, and I show you this, uh, you can think it's kind of LCD or something like that, okay? Because it's really, really perfect. Um, what bothers me more on these sets uh, are usually okay, the, the geometry and uh, the convergence, once again, which you cannot see uh, any kind of TV which is nearly perfect or, or good, and this is really the exception. What I say is the chosen uh, tube, the best tube that Love made, were fitted in these units together with a perfect, perfect, perfect electronic. Okay? Well, white is perfect, black is inch black, red and, and, and green and, and blue. Everything is, is uh, perfect, homogeneity, uniformity and everything. Look at this also, this pattern. It's incredible. If you see a little bit of tint in here, you will not see in any kind of other test. This is the transcoder that does that. Uh, the I don't know, the all transcoders for the Wii uh, from the component to VGA has this problem. I don't know why, the, the purple tint on the left. Well, really there is nothing to say about that. It's the perfection. All right, guys, here we are. The TV signal. Incredible. Okay, as you can see, this, uh, I, I'm using just a normal and crappy decoder, okay? And the signal here in Italy is nothing that, like, uh, discreet or normal, it's not very nice. Anyway, I'm using um, this decoder outputting 576p, which is the PAL uh, signal uh, which we have in Italy, okay? In widescreen, this TV, this TV just take the this signal 576 perfectly because it's a cool 20H, 25, sorry, chassis. Uh, and, <clears throat> well, I can say, well, the difference uh, from the like uh, all the all the information here are incredibly uh, sharp, and uh, one of the big stuff that you have in here uh, is that you don't have any juddering or what whatsoever. Uh, with this uh, <clears throat> this TV doesn't have as a beautiful electronic, so it doesn't have a problem for that for juddering and for the 100 Hz uh, electronics, uh, but uh, with a uh, VGA signal you avoid everything and it's completely smooth, the image, and, um, and actually the, the image is ultra, uh, very, very bright, very, very contrast, and it's nice, it's such nice. Colors are, are full, uh, are smooth, are VGA CRT style. It's great, guys. It's really great. I, I'm very surprised. One of the most impressive things that I, I was surprised is to connect one of these things and to have such a beautiful image like that. And here we are, guys. I'm going to try the PC. Actually, the computer is a very lower end computer for these days. It's a Windows PC X. Um, it's a Windows XP uh, PC. What it fits? Okay, it's an Athlon 64 processor, 3500 plus. Display adapters is a Radeon X. 1900 GT so uh, with like uh, 2 gigabyte of RAMs this is one of my vintage uh, PC it's a Dell PC um, it's a, I think 2004-2005 more or less era PC 
uh, in Adaptera was a very nice PC. Uh, actually, it's a, of course it's a very low end PC, but um, I use this because for this kind of resolution, which is eight forty eight per four. 848 per 480 uh, at this resolution you can use that res you can use a lower end PC with no problem uh, we, because with that game I, I will, I'm trying now Half-Life 2 and uh, it, it's perfect because you can max out everything and still have uh, um, 60, 60 frame uh, as you can see the, the great geometry that you saw on the previous video uh, it's perfect for the PC style. The image is absolutely stunning. Uh, I think it's the most uh, beautiful image uh, paired with the uh, Xbox 360 on this TV because it, it just goes directly 848, uh, which is a native resolution of the widescreen of this uh, of this TV, and uh, it's ultra sharp uh, all over the place, all over the uh, the TV, the tube. Even here and there and at the at the angle at the bottom and above, uh, and believe me, it's ultra crisp the image and it's very 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 beautiful. Let's go with Half Life Two. It it really seems a very much higher resolution than what it is actually. Uh, I think it's a great pair for this TV. Believe me, it's uh, it's stunning the image. Uh, the the written in here are ultra crisp uh, and the convergence together with the geometry really helps a lot everything on here like in this case you 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 see the convergence is perfect towards rise all the shine, the letter rise and shine. to imply you had been sleeping on the job Everything is ultra crisp and uh, so sharp, but uh, with a CRT idea, so very smooth, much smoother than any VGA CRT monitor. Eh? And as you can see, even with the lower end PC, you can have 60 frames per second perfectly. Okay, here we are. It's always a, job, a pleasure to see how smooth is the image on these TVs. Much more, much higher than any LCD or whatever. And it's really crisp, colorful. It's really, really good. Uh, with the four multi aliasing for... for uh, there is a four multi aliasing that fills the image like much higher in resolution. Are you the only one on that train? Welcome to City 17. You have chosen or been chosen to relocate to one of our finest remaining urban centers. Plus, it's so incredible to play Half-Life 2 in like a 32-inch widescreen monitor. It's really an experience, guys.
the scare, I had to put on a show for the cameras. I've been working undercover with civil protection. I can't take too long or they'll get suspicious. I'm way behind on my feeding quota. Yes, Barney, what is it? I'm in the middle of a critical test. Sorry, Doc, but look who's... All right, guys, let's try the PS4. Uh, remember, uh, I'm going to test the PS4, the base PS4, okay, not the the, the, the Pro or the or the Five, of course, because the PS4, the base PS4, is the only system uh, for Sony that actually um, can output in 480p native, okay. Uh, all the others cannot do that, okay. Sorry, I changed the ISO. Okay, sorry guys, I just changed the, the shutter and the, and the ISO because otherwise you will see all were exposed in major while this is more or less uh, you're looking what I'm, I'm, I'm looking actually. Uh, I, I was saying that uh, the PS4 is the only that can output 480p, okay? And to do that, uh, you have to be very careful to output before putting the, the PS4 into the... Uh, into the connection of the of the TV, okay. So otherwise, it will switch uh, to automatically uh, resolution, and with automatically resolution, of course, it will output in uh, uh, 1080p or whatsoever, but not in 480p. So uh, it will not uh, uh, recognize uh, the level. It will not recognize the the right uh, resolution, okay. So in here, you will see. Uh, we are in 480p, okay, everything is uh, automatic, uh, it's, it's okay, 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 and if you see for the information, we are in 720 per 480 60 hertz RGB, okay. Another important thing is that uh, uh, be careful to, in the system menu, to not to put uh, enabled HDCP, otherwise it will uh, automatically switch on and switch off and whatever. So, okay, be careful just to um, disable this, uh, this option. You will, uh, you, will, uh, you will need to connect uh, this uh, uh, HDMI to VGA converter. Be careful, it has to be uh, active converter, otherwise, uh, because the HDMI of the PS4, it doesn't output the right uh, enough voltage on the HDMI, so it will not... Um, uh, it will not work uh, properly, okay? Uh, for example, it's different, the switch. The switch uh, will output uh, the right voltage on the HDMI, so the switch can, uh, the Nintendo Switch can output 480p uh, natively, of course, without uh, using the external alimentation uh, supply of the... Um, of the of the converter, okay. Uh, in this case, you have to use a five volt uh, adapter uh, to um, to properly use with the with the PS4. Otherwise, you will see just a black screen, okay. All right, uh, we can we can go with Doom. The well, the the, the, the image is absolutely incredible and astounding. It's so vivid. It's so uh, I, I don't know what to say. It's it's so everything is so crisp, but uh, with uh, the idea of the CRT, so everything is very 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 smooth. Wow, wow! What can I say, guys? It's uh, even though I do think the image is very 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 good. Uh, <clears throat> I think the PC, even the Xbox 360, even the Switch are a slightly better image, in my opinion, because uh, this is, uh, it's, it's kind of uh, the, the feeling uh, is that uh, the PlayStation 4 just doesn't output 480p natively, but like uh, is outputting one, uh, 10, 1080p and then downscale in some way at 480. So the image is, uh, is very nice, it's a bit too soft, a little, a little bit 
blurry a little bit. Uh, while if you put the X360, uh, even the Switch, which I think it just do natively 480p, uh, or the PC, for example, uh, the image is absolutely crisp and shine and sharp. Uh, in here, it's a little bit less uh, clean and sharp. Uh, not too clean, sorry, but sharp. But what uh, I, I can say that uh, the... Um, Everything else is still same and be is maintained like uh, you know the CRT feeling, which is really gorgeous. No input lag at all, so I don't feel any input lag even the even with the, with the converter. So you don't have input lag and. Uh, the, be the best thing, in my opinion, is always the, uh, the smoothness of, uh, of the CRT, of the... <clears throat> uh, what, what you feel, the motion, which is, the, which is great, which is... Uh, such, such smooth and such perfect for the 60 frames per second and uh, the um, well the feeling is really to, to enjoy an old uh, fashion style uh, game with absolutely absence of uh, problem in motion uh, in input lag uh, and the image is so natural, really so natural. <coughs> and the colors are so rich and vibrant. It's really an experience, guys. I love it very much. Such a beautiful experience, guys. You have to try in person to to uh, well be aware of what what exactly means to play in such mod in such a, in such TV, especially in 32 inch. It's a joy for the eye. It's really a joy for the eye. Okay, I put a little bit more of, uh, of ISO, so it's a little bit more, uh, it's a little bit more, um, the image is a little bit uh, like uh, with more light, okay. The, the, even the all the written here with this amazing uh, convergence they look so crisp uh, 
even even if it's four ATP, it's so, they are so crisp, they are so uh, smooth in the same idea of what I said before. All right. What can I say, guys? Even this is such an amazing image. Everything is really smooth. Everything is so natural. There has to be someone here. Probably you will see a little bit more light than what I see, but I'm trying to, you know, to record as best as I can, of course. It really seemed to, to you know, to play such uh, an old, uh, an old style Resident Evil. And uh, of course, so what can I say? I prefer this image than any kind of image like OLED or whatsoever. It's a little bit uh, pity that the PS4 like doesn't support uh, 480p because this game is uh, stunning, but it's not uh, solid 60 FPS. So sometimes you will see a little drop. While with the with the, you know with the <clears throat> this kind of TV, the the 60 frame per second is absolutely the best thing you can see mm. but anyway <laughs> wow this part you know where you see the light uh, in the darkness is absolutely crazy absolutely crazy such a soft image The details on the on the back in the in the dark are absolutely you can see everything really everything well I would say it's really it's really um, an experience that and uh, I would suggest all of you to try even even know with this kind of TV maybe, but uh, uh, because here it's absolutely with no signal uh, deterioration, with no uh, sig signal treatment. And of course, it's absolutely through pass. So it's uh, exactly what it outputs, and uh, it is really wow. Sorry guys. Okay. Uh, well, I I hope you enjoyed this uh, this review. And uh, if you have any kind of you know uh, question of whatsoever, just uh, just tell me on the on the comment. Uh, I will be happy to to answer. Thank you so much.